Let's talk a little bit about substitution. So if you find a recipe and you wanna swap things, is it possible? Let's dive into that today on this video. Thank you for joining me again for another video here on my YouTube channel. If you enjoy videos like this, please click like, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you want to get notifications. We also have 40% off any or all of our raw vegan recipe eBooks. The code is rawfood40 and you use that at checkout to get 40% off. So link is in the description box below for those. So let's chat a little bit about substitutions. If you are on a raw diet and you need to substitute, what do you do? Well, first up, I wanna say eat whatever you want. <laughs> you don't have to follow a recipe if you don't want to. Now, saying that, if there is a recipe, I do highly suggest doing the recipe the way that the creator made it because they made it for specific reasons. They use special ingredients for special reasons inside the recipe to make it taste the way they wanted it to taste. So recipe substitutions can be either easy or they can be very challenging. So it really depends on what recipe you're making. And I can't say that this is universal for all, but typically if you're making a salad and you don't eat tomatoes or you can't eat tomatoes or whatever ingredient it is, and there's tomatoes in the salad, you can easily leave those out or replace them with other things that you want more. Or for example, if you don't like the taste of spinach and a salad has spinach in it, use something else, put kale in it or whatever else you wanna put in the salad. It's really easy to change the recipe of a salad. When it comes to blended things though, it's a little more challenging to replace certain things because everything is meant to be together to make a specific outcome. You are more than welcome to swap things, whatever you want to try. That's how we create recipes, people swapping things and trying different things and other techniques. That's how you create fun new recipes. But sometimes it's not gonna turn out the way the original creator created it if you're going to change the recipe. So that said, you have to be aware that if you change the ingredients on many blended recipes, the outcome is going to change. It's not gonna taste the same, it's not gonna have the same texture, and it's going to be different. So if you keep that in mind, you can explore, try different things, substitute other things for other things. Like if it's watery, you could use a different watery thing. If it's sour, you could do a different sour thing. If it's fruit, do different fruit. Like for example, if somebody doesn't want dates, use dried figs or dried apricots. Something dry and sweet is what really you're looking for. If you're looking for something neutral, and full of fiber, like a sweet potato, for example, you could try cauliflower or some other vegetable that's high fiber and more of a neutral flavor. But again, if you swap things in a recipe, it's going to change the texture, taste, and final outcome, especially in recipes that are very, very specific, like my wraps. It's really, really hard to change the recipe for the wraps. I've made hundreds of wraps and they require a special combination of things to make them work. If you swap out any of the bigger ingredients for other stuff, I can't guarantee that it's gonna work because these recipes have been formulated to be used as they are. The only thing that I would say you could play around with in the wrap recipes would be you could swap chia for flax or vice versa, flax for chia if you wanted. You could totally do that because they're both um, high omega-3 mucilaginous seeds. So you could totally swap either or. So if you didn't like the taste of flax, use chia. If you don't like chia, use flax. But I wouldn't replace any of the big stuff like the carrots, the onions, the dates. All of those are in there for very, very specific reasons. And also the weights are really important as well. So when you see that there's lots of onions, use lots of onions. Use the weights that are in the recipe to get the actual outcome that you are expecting from the recipe. The other things that you can change in recipes are the spice amounts. So if you are say a hyper taster, which is a person who has more taste buds on their tongue than the average person, and you taste a lot more than the average person, you can always start with half or even just a quarter of the spices. 
and that can really help you to enjoy a recipe more. If someone like, for example, me, I don't think I'm a hyper taster because I use a lot of garlic and spices and some people find that that's too much and that's totally okay. Spices, garlic, that kind of thing, you can play around with the amounts. I always recommend starting with a smaller amount and then working up because you can always add flavor, but it's really hard to take it away. You can always add spice, but it's really hard to take it away. So start slow with the spices for whatever recipe it is and also play around. If you can't find a certain spice, try a different spice. It'll taste different, but at least you can experiment a little bit there. Another common swap that I see is people don't wanna use vinegar or apple cider vinegar. You could totally swap that for lemon juice. That's a pretty good universally known uh, swap that you could do for that. But when it comes to the bigger ingredients, I would highly recommend trying to stick to the recipe. And if you really can't have the certain things that are in the recipe, just skip the recipe. That's just not a recipe for you. And that's okay because there's lots of other recipes that you could probably make other than that one and also experiment with your own. We're all on our own journey and you have to work with your gut microbiome. And if you can't handle a huge amount of fiber right now, <laughs> work up slowly to it so you can eventually enjoy a wider variety and more different varieties of food because it's really important to have that wide variety of food in our diet. So hopefully this video helps somebody out there if you're thinking about substitutions know that you can but it could possibly change the outcome it's really easy to change and swap ingredients in smoothies and salads because i mean the salad is a salad you can put whatever you want in it really but when it comes to blended stuff it is a little bit more challenging and you can experiment but don't expect the same results so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed if you are looking for some awesome recipes you can check out my ebooks the code to get a 40% off discount is raw food 40 and the link is in the description box below. So head on down there if you're looking for some new fun things to create. And if you like this video, click like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell if you want to get notifications sent to you whenever I post a new video. Until the next one, I love you all as always, fruit on.